Hey guys, Jamie with PC Monkey. I'm bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I have an Acer TravelMate computer here, and I'm gonna show you in this video how to swap out the hard drive and the RAM. I'll also give you a couple pointers on how to find correct replacement parts for those. If you have any questions or if anything throws you in this video, check out the FAQs below in the description. Uh, it could save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a comment, I do try to get back to you a few times a day at least. Uh, so I'll show you now how to get into the Acer TravelMate. Okay guys, so hopefully your Acer TravelMate looks like mine. I have an easy access panel here on, on the bottom. Uh, if you do not have an easy access panel and you have to take off your entire bottom case, keep a few things in mind. After removing all of your screws, uh, sometimes they hide screws underneath your battery when you take that out. Sometimes they'll hide screws underneath your DVD drive when you slide that out. And sometimes they'll hide screws underneath some of your rubber feet. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you do have an easy access panel, then you're in luck. It's a little easier, a little faster. Also, if you're uncomfortable about going into your computer, if you have to take the entire bottom case off, uh, you may want to look up your exact model, find a disassembly or teardown video on your exact model travel mate. And you can find that here on this sticker. It says travel mate, which is the series, but the model is 5542-3590. Uh, so that's how you'd find your exact model. And you can find a teardown video that shows you exactly how to get into your computer, which may limit uh, the chances you have of breaking things. So there's your hard drive and there's your RAM. Uh, so I'll start with the RAM first. In order to get it out, RAM is usually stored with two little spring-loaded arms on either side. So you pull those arms apart and the RAM should release. And then you can just slide it out like that. So if you want to know how to purchase the correct RAM for your computer, check out the video link below in the description. That'll show you how to buy the right RAM replacement for your computer. Uh, if you're looking for RAM upgrades, Possible RAM upgrades, I always like going to crucial.com. It's a great website uh, to find upgrades uh, for your RAM. And then to put it back in, nice and easy, just slide it back in and, it, and press down. And that locks back into place. So here's your hard drive. Uh, hard drives are generally held in by caddies. Uh, that's a, a metal or a plastic component that goes around the hard drive and screws into the computer uh, to hold it securely. Apparently this computer, however, uh, the guy that sent this computer in to be worked on, he doesn't have a caddy. Possibly got lost or something along the way. So this just slides out, unfortunately. Uh, but after you unscrew your caddy, you would just slide the hard drive out like that. Keep in mind the orientation. See these ports? Uh, they have to go in that way. They can't plug in this way. Uh, the orientation has to be correct. So when you take your hard drive out, you're gonna unscrew these four screws on either side, and that will release the hard drive from its caddy. But when you go to put the hard drive back in, make sure that it's secure in, in its caddy. I'll have a link down below in the, in the description on another computer that actually had a caddy. Uh, I kind of feel bad that this one didn't. Um, but yeah, once you get your hard drive into the caddy, you'll just slide it back into the port and then screw it down. If you're looking for hard drive upgrades, uh, keep in mind a couple things with most laptops. Look up your own model to make sure. But with most laptops, you're looking at a 2.5 inch hard drive and you're looking at a SATA connection, S-A-T-A. -A. Uh, for most laptops, that's what you're gonna need. The actual uh, storage size can vary. And if you're doing an upgrade or if you have to replace your hard drive, uh, consider upgrading to a solid state drive. Uh, there's no moving parts, they last longer, they're faster. Uh, there's not a lot of downsides to upgrading to a solid state drive. And then of course, again, you would screw these four screws back into the caddy and slide that back in place. So that's how you would swap out those parts from an Acer TravelMate. Uh, again, if you have any comments, check out the frequently asked questions in the description below. If you don't see yours there, leave me a comment. I do try to get back to you guys a few times a day at least. Uh, please like and share if this helped you out. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys.